The Tombstone Glitch in Modern Warfare Zombies Season 2 has come so far. Already, we can do it as a team. We can now Tombstone Glitch solo and keep your large backpack. I now showed you how you can keep your tombstone while going into the Dark Aether and successfully exfilling right up here. But the last piece to the puzzle, and the question I get all the time from chat on our live streams is, how do I keep my insured weapon? Once again, Jesse Powers comes through, has a great idea, and we start working out how we can actually execute this idea. I'm gonna show you how to keep your insured weapon while also keeping your tombstone and talk about the benefits and also the limitations. But before we get to that, a word from our sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto V, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. In order to do this glitch to both keep your tombstone and keep your insured weapon, you're gonna need a few things. The first, obviously, is your insured weapon. Next would be a tombstone soda can. If you don't have a tombstone soda can, you could always go buy one for 2,000 in the match. Just do one cargo delivery contract, you're done. Also, if you need to duplicate more tombstone soda cans, I made a video very easily how to go from one to 30, 40 tombstone sodas, so you never have to think about that. The last thing you're gonna need is either an elder sigil or a sigil. Both of these will work the same way, but you do need one of those. We're gonna do the elder sigil because I think it's more fun to run. You'll also need to run this method with a buddy. You cannot do it by yourself, at least not yet, but we're working on it. Now you're ready to start the match. Once you're in the match, make sure you break down your tombstone, get everything out of that completely. Then you can go ahead and drink a tombstone. You're going to drop your insured weapon to your friend. So he's already drank a tombstone, I drank a tombstone. Now he has both his insured weapon and mine. Now this is where it gets interesting. He's now going to run off and get downed. As soon as he gets downed, I'm going to start the Elder Sigil. So he's going to get hit right here by me. Couple more shots, he'll probably do it. There you go. Now I'm starting the Elder Sigil. As soon as I start it, he's going to vote yes. I do not. Just him. Just one vote. So it's not going to pass it through yet. Then he's going to bleed out intentionally. Now he's going to give up, as you can see. Now as we're swimming around, we're doing the same glitch that we've been doing for the solo tombstone glitch for Season 2. You can check out my video if you need to know more about this. When it turns red, now throw that vote in. So what's happened here is my buddy has voted but died. Now I'm going to both die, get squad eliminated, and go to the Elder Sigil or Sigil right here. So this is similar to the other glitch if you want to do a successful exfil, which I, again, showed you a video on that and how to go in the Dark Aether. Check it out right here. So now we're in. You're going to lose your decoys, your tacticals, and any guns that you had on you, which we didn't have any. You'll still keep your large rucksack, armor, that kind of stuff. I don't have that. So now my buddy's going to drop my gun. So now I have my original insured gun, and he has his original insured gun. Now let's Scorcher. We're just using Scorcher to it's way easier. We're going to go straight to the exfil here. Not trying anything fancy. Now this is just to demonstrate how it works. You can obviously do a full match in here, collect whatever you want. Now hit the portal. Now you'll notice Rift complete. So we have successfully exfilled. I'm leaving with the same insured weapon that I brought. My buddy is also leaving with the insured weapon that he brought in. And we reset our tombstone by drowning in the water right before we were taken to the Dark Aether. So from our first test, we kind of kept our insured weapon. Technically, we didn't lose our weapon, but it did take it off the insurance spot and put it into contraband. There's clearly good use for this, meaning you could stack up five attachment, fully kitted guns as contraband instead of insured. So that's very helpful. But it isn't actually what we set out to do in keeping your insured weapons while still keeping your tombstone. Also, we haven't gone back to make sure that our tombstone's still there, so let's do that. Now, we're back in the match, and here's what we did accomplish. We kept our insured weapon, although it turned to contraband. We kept our tombstone just like it was, so we reset that perfectly. And we were able to successfully exfil on that same round. But ultimately, that insured weapon did turn to contraband and not just stay as an insured weapon that you can then swap out for whatever weapon you want to later. So let's switch roles now, go back in and see if we can actually both keep that tombstone and keep the insured weapon. 
All right, so what you're gonna do here, you made it, and you're gonna drink Tombstone to reset it. I don't have a large backpack right now. It would work the same with a large backpack. We've just lost it in testing everything. Also, this is a different round. We've been testing this method um, for about it. two hours, so there's gonna be different items in the Tombstone. So what we're doing here, careful, because these guys will throw meat at you. Um, I don't have a self-revive. He is going to drop me his gun. Because he would lose his guns if he kept them on me. So I'm being the pack meal for this. We're going to let these guys down us. And then as soon as I get down, he's going to start the Elder Sigil. Oh, hit me one more time. Okay, now he's going to start the Elder Sigil. I'm going to vote yes right now. And then I'm going to give up. Do not plead for help. Okay, now he's going to go. Okay, I'm, I'm observing you now. That's what we want to see. Now what we're trying to do is for me Perfect. to reset a tombstone while simultaneously getting pulled into the dark ether with my buddy. That way, we have the tombstone set for the next round, we keep our insured weapons, and now I can give those back to my buddy who we're watching right now. Now. So we just are. voted yes. You, you won't see that you voted yes on mine because I'm already dead. And we should get a true squad eliminated here. The challenge is how to fully die out and set that tombstone while still being in a squad. That is really what we're Perfect. trying to nail in. But let's see what happens. All right, so now I have both weapons, you can see. I still have my gold level on that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. He has a scorcher. I do not. I have one plate, no armors, and a couple decoys. So it's going to be crazy. No, you take it. You go ahead and take it. Okay. I think I can get there. Do you have a decoy? No, you don't have a decoy. Oh, dog got me. Dog got me. Running, running. Oh. Is dog going to get you? I, uh, I think the dog might be dead. But there's a lot going no, on. No, no, he's oh, got yes, you. The dog got me. I'm out of decoys. Oh, gosh. I got I to gotta go. Oh, oh crap. Take step. Go. There's the dog should still be here, I hope. Yep. I'm up. I'm Max Villain. You got it? Oh, yeah, I got out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was intense. <laughs> Riff complete, yes. Now, when we switch roles, the great news is that I was able to keep my insured weapon and the insured slot where I could switch out everything. So we did successfully keep the insured slot while running Dark Aether, all of that. But we still need to check, did the tombstone set properly? Uh, like two games in a row, but We're back in the match, let's check screen. it out. No at Cemetery, and no at Tier 3 Island. So the tombstone did not reset. In conclusion, Jesse Powers and I were able to do the tombstone glitch and keep your insured weapon with two people, but one of them will still lose their tombstone. Now that's not a big deal because you can both keep your insured weapon, one gets it as contraband, one keeps it as an insured weapon, Honestly, contraband's better because you can save that and use it any time. The other person loses their tombstone. Because you're already playing with somebody, if you need to reset your tombstone after you do this a few times, not a big deal at all. If you need help on how to reset a tombstone from somebody else, you can check out this video here. We'll show you exactly how to do that. You can share all your essence and every bit with it. So yes, we have cracked the ability to keep an insured weapon and a tombstone but it is in a squad of at least two, and there's still some weird things about it. We'll keep working on this. I'm sure eventually we'll get it to where you can do it solo. We'll figure that out. We're just not there quite yet. Make sure if you have ideas or you have solutions, join our Discord down below. I would love to hear from you. We have so many people that are working on these glitches together as a zombies community, not just in my Discord, but across the whole community. Do comment if you have other ideas you think we should try. I'm always open to other suggestions. And that's how I learned is bumping it off of other people. Like, subscribe, and share if this video helped you. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I will see you live on YouTube.